Um, I'm Alice. I work for Airbus Defence and Space, where I'm in charge of the innovation culture. So I provide relevant tools and methods for our innovation project. And I also chair an ISO committee on innovation management, where we produce standards, guidelines for innovation management. Well, we have moved from a techno push to a market pool environment, which means that today innovation management requires much more systematic approach than serendipity. And th these guidelines will provide this systematic approach. We are very lucky in these days because for innovation, we need three essential elements. The first one is the capital. And today, there's much more capital than before for innovation. The second is technology, in fact. In Airbus, we have a lot of engineers which love, in fact, working on new projects, on new technologies. The third one is maybe the most difficult, is the hacker mindset. When you want to challenge the world, when you want to change, in fact, the way we are living, the way we are working, the way we are providing new services, new products. And this hacker mindset is very difficult to obtain. And, uh, well, that's my job today. <laughs> it's very difficult to change mindset. You know, we all have our own beliefs. And there's a statement from Bertrand Piccard that I love very much. He says, we start innovating when we go beyond some beliefs. And that's really the essence of innovation. How you withdraw your belief, you go further. And of course, you will leave your comfort zone and you will meet risk and uncertainties. That's when you start innovating. I would advise any new chief innovation officer or innovation manager to have a look at our standards on innovation management. It will help him or her to build his own innovation policy and to design its own innovation process. And, well, an advice is just to stay hungry and stay foolish. <laughs>